Overview Good Manufacturing Practices, GMP, are a set of principles that systematically minimize risks associated primarily with pharmaceutical and medical device production in order to ensure the purity, safety, and efficacy of the products. The regulations that govern GMP require a quality approach to the manufacture of these products, such that errors, mix-ups, and contamination are minimized. The ultimate goal of GMP is to protect customers from potentially dangerous or ineffective products. Learning Objectives By the end of this course, participants will be able to explain 1. The basic principles of good manufacturing practices and its importance within a regulated manufacturing environment. 2. The role of the quality management system as the basis for compliance with GMP regulations. 3. The regulations and standards associated with GMP. 4. Which aspects of manufacturing are covered by GMP? 5. The roles of qualification and validation within GMP. 6. An overview of addressing complaints and product recalls. 7. The fundamentals of quality control. And 8. The consequences of GMP non-compliance for regulated companies. What is GMP? The manufacturing practices followed by pharmaceutical firms ensure that the products produced meet specific requirements for safety, identity, strength, purity, and quality. They are designed to minimize the risks involved in any pharmaceutical production that cannot be eliminated through testing a final product. Some of the main risks include unexpected product contamination causing damage to health or even patient death, incorrect labels printing on product containers resulting in patients receiving the wrong medicine, inadequate or incorrect active ingredient resulting in ineffective treatment or adverse effects. GMP covers all aspects of drug production from the starting raw material, premises and equipment to the training and personal hygiene of staff. Detailed standard operating procedures or SOPs are essential for each process that could affect the quality of the finished product. There must be systems to provide documented proof that correct procedures are consistently followed at each step in the manufacturing process every time a product is made. Now it's time to take the final assessment. This assessment will consist of 10 multiple choice questions. You will have three attempts to pass this assessment. To pass this assessment, you will need a score of 80% or above. A certificate of successful completion will be issued if you pass the assessment. Best of luck and keep learning!